this. Okay. I'm so really it, feeling it out of your comfort zone. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm should excited, I have enough Ray? trouble expressing without expressing them on a piece of paper with colours and lines? I was officially diagnosed as having clinical depression uh, back in 2005. Somebody that doesn't have mental health problems can't understand. They cannot understand even when it, it's explained to them by somebody who does. One in seven Australians will experience depression in their lifetime. Depression can change the way a person sees the world, taking away the vibrancy of colours around them, literally making their world seem grey. Well, I can explain to you all about a broken leg or a broken finger, the, the, the physiological um, uh, effects of what's going on in your body, but I can't explain to you why I'm unhappy or why I don't see any joy in the world or, or anything like that, because I can't. You, you, you have to live it. It has to be a lived experience before you can fully understand it. Honestly, you'll be able to do it. It sounds completely irrational. How can something like that make sense and communicate? But it can. I, I, yeah. I, I understand that it can. Yeah. No. I just can't. You can. <laughs> anyway, you're open to it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, of course. Always, Absolutely. always. We Good got on you. Here, Ray. All right, so let's write these down. The emotions Wendy is asking us to depict are all familiar, but far from simple. OK. Here we go. You're doing one per page. And, you know, if they were as rough as that, they would be fine. Yeah. All right, so... Do that. Yep. Shared experience of childhood trauma have created a bond Ray and Vivian draw strength from. Do you know what, Ray? This might be the most important exercise for you. It's going to be hard. Please let yourself go there because whatever you need, all right? I'll have a go. See how I go. It'll be look, the outcome of mine they'll interpret. You never know, but whatever comes up, all right? I just feel tired and You're then tired. we have to do this like wanky shit. Okay. Like, so it's emotional. <laughs> My brother's name is Jack and he was returning from a trip to Europe in 2014. He was on flight MH17 when it was it was shot down. So um, his death just changed my life completely and permanently. You know what I mean? I you know this art, typical art shit, like... <laughs> If we had a bunch of five-year-olds and we said, here's some paint, paint jelly beans, paint a dream you had last night, paint your dog, whatever you like.